So before I started the Mastering Diabetes meal plan, my A1C was 10.9. My serum cholesterol was 8.2. My triglycerides were 4.2 and my LDL was 5.41. So after three months of the Mastering Diabetes meal plan, my A1C had dropped to 6.9. My serum cholesterol had dropped to 6.6. My triglycerides had dropped to 2.93 and LDL had dropped to 4.57. And in total, I lost around 26 pounds in weight. I was so sort of militant when I went in to get the results and I could see the diabetic nurse. She was like, and I just said to her, yeah. I said, do you want to know how I've done it? (laughs) I think she was like, oh God, yeah, go and tell me. And I said, I'm not doing any of this keto stuff. I said, it's mastering diabetes. I said, you really need to check. She actually wrote down the title of the book. I said, I can really highly advise that you recommend it to your patients to give them another option of what might work for them. Uh, And I said, it's high carb, low fat, whole food, plant based. And I was so, so happy with those results. I'm getting emotional thinking about it because, you know, for three months and that hard work and that investment in myself, And the blood work doesn't lie, you know. I had an A1C of 10.9, which is uh, very high and was uh, very shocking for me. I bought the book. I um, looked at the YouTube channel. Uh, I saw that you guys had the meal plans and I thought, yeah, this is it. This is an investment into my health. And I really, you know, went for it and made a commitment um, and started really sort of, I think it was around Valentine's Day. (laughs) It was like my own love letter to myself. Um, Really started to make an effort and, you know, reading the book, trying to understand. And I thought, yeah, this makes sense to me. What have I got to lose? I'll give it a go. And part of me was also really hoping to have good results so that when I went to the doctor, (laughs) I could show them the good results and I could sort of really make the case for the fact that it doesn't have to be about low carb, that you can have an abundance of, you know, whole food, plant based, lovely, yummy goodies and still have good impact on your diet. Yeah, really shocking when people talk about the symptoms, particularly of type 2 diabetes. um, They talk about being tired. They talk about, you know, feeling very thirsty And that really, for me, did not fully explain how severe those symptoms could be. I had one evening where I just thought, my God, I just I cannot stop drinking. I felt so bloated. I was and also a craving for cold liquid. And I was like, "Mm, this is not normal. Um, I look back actually on photos of myself. I was very gray. I was very tired. I I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to tell after a really hectic, difficult year, you know, very busy job. Is it just that I'm tired because it's like winter and, you know, I've been dealing with a pandemic. But when I got that thirst, I thought to myself, yeah, this is not a normal, oh, I'm feeling a bit dehydrated. It was really scary. And it was that next day that I actually, I actually tested myself. I had a a blood glucose meter because obviously at some point in the past, I'd wanted to sort of get a grip of the pre-diabetes. And I tested my blood glucose level and the level was so high that the meter would not read it. It just said high. And I thought, oh, um, And I sort of thought to myself, oh, maybe just because it's old strips. I ordered some new ones the next day. I tested it again. I kid you not, it was 33. And I'm using UK um, terminology, so apologies. I don't know the conversion. Um, And I thought, oh, my God, tested it again the next morning. It was 23. And I just thought, yeah, this is confirming to me that there's something really serious is going on here. And I need to get a grip of it urgently. Uh, This isn't just like, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired. This is now the evidence showing that, yeah, something is going on quite serious in the body. I thought, well, what's the one thing I can control is I can control my diet. So I had it tested after three months and I was a bit nervous because I thought, oh, you know, is three months really going to be enough to show? Uh, And I I have it here. I want to make sure. So my A1C went from 10.9 to 6.9. Uh, my cholesterol went, serum cholesterol went from 8.2 to 6.6. 6. 
Uh, triglycerides went from 4.2 to 2.9 and LDL went from 5.4 to 4.7. So for me, I also had normal uh, liver function tests, normal kidney tests, uh, full, full blood count normal. And I lost about 26 pounds in weight. Um, yeah. And I don't look so gray anymore. <laughs> and, you know, the, I felt I was so sort of militant when I went in to get the results. And I could see the diabetic nurse. She was like, and I just said to her, yeah. I said, do you want to know how I've done it? <laughs> I think she was like, oh, God, yeah, go and tell me. And I said, I'm not doing any of this keto stuff. I said, it's mastering diabetes. I said, you really need to check. She actually wrote down the title of the book. I said, I can really highly advise that you recommend it to your patients to give them another option of what might work for them. Uh, And I said, it's high carb, low fat, whole food, plant based. And I was so, so happy with those results. Results. I'm getting emotional thinking about it because, you know, for three months and that hard work and that investment in myself, and the blood work doesn't lie, you know. I can, I can actually say, you know, was I 100% compliant? No, probably not. Um, but it just shows that even with a good effort, the results in three months. And, and during that time, I was doing no additional exercise either. But you just can't argue with the data. And I think for me, that was what was so persuasive. Um, you know, I still have progress to make, of course, but I've just actually had my next set of blood tests done and I'm hopefully going to get the results this week. So I'm be very interested. I expect that there might not be such a drastic change compared to the first time, but as long as it's all moving in the right direction, that's the main thing really. And for me, the thought of having a meal plan, I thought, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm going to go for it. I really saw it as an investment into me and into my health. And I just thought, you know, I know sometimes people worry about the cost of sort of investing, but I just thought, well, I'm not buying so many crisps and certainly not as much chocolate. So, (laughs) Uh, and for me, it was just, it was a no brainer. It was like, it's a non-negotiable. If I really want to do this, I want to succeed. And I think when you're first diagnosed, it's really scary. And there's a lot of very negative uh information out there you know that how you know type 2 diabetes it's it's just progressive it will only ever get worse your pathway is only to be on more and more medication uh, you may end up having to take insulin the thing that also set the meal plan as you know apart from other sources of information was the fact that all the nutritional information is on there so i wasn't having to worry about doing the calculating and trying to figure out how many grams of this and that it was just so easy and I just thought well it's there there's lunches breakfasts dinners uh if I follow the meal plan statistically it's likely to be successful so yeah I think in terms of favorite meal I mean I'll be really honest with you kind of mixing fruit and vegetables is not something that I was quite used to. So a lot of the recipes I was like, oh, that looks a bit interesting. Strawberries in a salad. Okay. So it was nice to kind of like, you know, break out of my comfort zone a little bit. And it's so strange because the more you you do it, the more your body tells you, yeah, I really like this way of eating. And you, you, I'll be honest, you find yourself eating stuff that if somebody had told you, three months ago that you'd be eating for breakfast or wherever you would have thought there's no way on earth that I'm going to be eating spinach and sprouts I've got little sprouters I do sprouts you know with you know fruit for breakfast with chia and yet the evidence is there my body's like yes please more of that the there's a particular breakfast dish it's um it's like a coconut one with black rice with tropical fruit and I'd never had black rice before and I just thought wow that sounds amazing and it feels very luxurious and indulgent because obviously it has that small amount of coconut milk in it um and and because it's all sort of worked out in terms of nutrition you don't have to panic like oh my god is that too much fat because it's all worked out for you so you can just eat it and enjoy it for what it is so that one's particularly nice um I've got a whole thing of black rice now in the cupboard uh chickpea walled off salad mmm I do like that one. <laughs> That's particularly good. I like that on a wrap. I also like it in like a salad bowl. Um, what else? Uh, oh, soups. We're starting to move out of summer now. So I'm thinking about all the different soups. There's one um, 
it roasted carrots with white bean mm. yeah so everything the there's a asian slaw uh the noodles with peanut sauce i mean yeah i like it all to be honest <laughs> uh, i mean obviously it comes into your inbox so you have it there you can connect through to the dashboard um, there's all the kind of like additional information on the dashboard about prep and you know I think it's really good because not everybody will come from a point of view where they're used to cooking necessarily for themselves or cooking in this particular way um, you know I'm lucky in the sense that you know I enjoy cooking and I feel I'm quite good at it but I can see that people coming to this way of eating who maybe don't have so much experience of you know maybe cooking from fresh or cooking with you know with dried pulses and stuff where you see the pictures I'm a visual person so I, I quite like that you can sort of think about it and then you think oh that's got cauliflower in it who would have guessed um and then obviously the ingredient list which is good if you want to do your shopping and your prep um here I often do online shopping so it means I can just sit down and sort of like do that quickly it doesn't take long um, and then obviously you have enough for your leftovers so you can do meal planning. So I lost around 26 pounds in weight. <laughs> so th this is when I started. You can see there, those are not great figures to yeah. be waking up to. Um, and you can actually see over time. Um, oh, is it the other way around? So then, then I start eating more veg and you can see how quickly the impact is on the, on the blood glucose levels. See already, you know, a month in and I'm having much, much better uh, data, a few spikes every now and again, but you know, this is a month in and then, you know, just to go really speedy, uh, a few spikes there, it's because I have wine and chocolate, fine. But then you start getting all these lovely little things all these lovely, sorry, that's a bit of a glare. Look at that. You know, come on, 5.7, 5.6. I'm reading it backwards. 5.8, 5.1. <laughs> you know, 